In life, we have to disagree to agree to make things right. It's not all about working here. It's about sharing what you have back home and also like different types of food. It's a community that really love to see us grow. Uh, and I, I feel good being part of it. ERA is a different place to study. You not only study, but you will face the new people and you will live together and also you will feel like you have a new family, not just study. At ARI, I know how to accept each other and how to accept a thing about each other with different culture, different country, and different thinking, and different heart also. <laughs> yeah. Servant and leader, those are like two things that don't, that, that don't meet. We have, we have the notion that a leader cannot be a servant. You, a leader must be served. But here, to be a leader, you must serve. That's why we call it servant leadership. You must lead by example. It is not easy to convince people. To convince my, my people, I also need to have the knowledge of leadership. First learning from ARI about leadership is something that is always changing my mindset that if you are a leader, you need to be a good listener and have patience. So that is also helping me a lot. By communicating, Maybe the next group, they have what you're looking for. If you communicate well, you will get it as teamwork. Our graduates are now um, over 1,400. In the 62 countries, we hear that the people are very happy to have the, the trained uh, leaders who are trained by the ARI and try to do very practical and useful um, things for the, the people and for the community sharing life together, uh, equality for all, valuing God-centered food, living in harmony together, but also working through differences and accepting each other for those differences. It's a very, very grounded community, which to me uh, emulates world peace on a very small scale but has the potential and is radiating out into the world on a larger scale. Just living with many kinds of people who has different nationalities and different cultures and different backgrounds, they meet here and just live here together and they learn. If you want to learn diversity and you want to learn different values and cultures, it's the best place to learn these things here. When I came here, uh, I didn't want to stay for a long time, but I have already spent long time and uh, now oh, 20 years I cannot believe so it became part of my life already. When you're here you get the full spectrum of the curriculum, you work in all different areas of, of food life so you see the pigs, the chickens, the crops, you see all that stuff and we put a lot of time and energy into making sure that this is a self-sufficient, self-sustaining organization and we do that as a way of training teaching and also learning from the participants who come from some of the poorest areas of the world. We learn together by mistake and we learn from each other. So yeah, that's the community of learning. Everyone is kind of the teacher and everyone is kind of the uh, students. What I often share with American audiences is the importance to learn about the world beyond 
our own borders. This is a place that you can do that and the be in community. I normally call ERI as God's garden, the flower garden. If the flower is only one, it doesn't sound beauty. But if you have different kinds of flowers, it becomes very beautiful. The diverse people, many different, really different. <laughs> and then we say that we have um, chaos in here, good chaos. They're working together very nicely. And then uh, on the way, come back to the ARI, they are working together and they're talking together. They are introducing their own experience together. When they do their final presentation and when they are graduating, I always think each of them looks so beautiful in, in a way. Like, and I see their photo on their application, but their face completely changes, uh, or my understanding of them completely changes by the time they finish, um, because I know the background of that person and all their struggles and all the things they overcame. At the core, everyone is very humble in their ability to be able to change their life in such a big way.